Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own maze game on Scratch. So first off, what you have to do is take any sprite and reduce its size. We're going to be keeping the size of 30 for this uh, sprite. From there, you want to add a backdrop or make your own that resembles a maze. And make sure it's only white, black, and your finishing color. Next, what you want to do is go to your sprites code and go to events and take when green flag clicked. Also, make sure you position your uh, scratch cat to start in a reasonable position in the beginning. We're going to keep it in the beginning of the maze. From there, uh, make sure you say when green flag clicked, go to that position and make sure you close off the maze because you don't want anyone cheating. From there, you want to go back to the sprites code and you want to make the, the following things. Go to events, take one space key pressed, and duplicate it four times. From there, you want to go to control and take the if statement and duplicate it four times. From there, you want to go to motion and take the x by 10 and x by 10 and y by 10 and y by 10. Now we can start assembling the uh, pieces but make sure you duplicate each one uh, another time. So first we want to put all the if statements under the when space key pressed. Let's clean up the blocks again. From there, you want to put uh, the change x by 10 at the top of the if statement and change x by 10 in, inside the if statement. And you want to change space key to right key. This will mean that every time you hit the right arrow, the scratch cat will move 10 pixels to uh, right. In the if then statement, make sure you put touching color and you want to replace it with the color of your maze. From there, you want to make sure that it's the opposite thing, because if it's not, then it'll just be going faster when it hits something. As you can see, I'm hitting the right button, but it's not going into the right direction because it knows that there's a wall there and it's not able to. If your scratch can't, still can't fit through, you are able to reduce the size to something smaller, like 25. Repeat this step for all of the other um, blocks, except use r left arrow, down arrow, and up arrow for them. Up arrow will be Y, so um, you'll be able to put Y positive and Y negative. Now take a look at my blocks and make sure you have them copied down. When down arrow key pressed, change Y by negative 10, and if it's touching this color, then don't change Y, so cancel it out. After that, you can test the project and you'll be able to walk through the whole entire maze. And once you come to a wall, it won't let you pass through the wall because of the if statement we've put. Now, if this is happening where you're not able to pass through, you can still decrease the size of the sprite. Now once you re reach the green, nothing happens. Now you have to program that. So what you want to do is go into control, I mean uh, events, and take when green flag clicked. From there, go to control and take forever, if, 
And in the if statement, go to sensing and take touching color. In that area, make sure you pick the, uh, your final ending color or it won't work properly. From there, what you want to do is make another sprite that says, yeah, you finished. So let's paint that. You want to make sure they're big, bold letters, or no one will be able to see them. From there, go into the code for your finished line, and make sure you say that when green flag clicked, hide or it'll be showing the whole time. Go back to the scratch cat and take um, and go into events and take broadcast message one. And from there, go into sprite one and take when I receive message one, show. After that, it should end the whole thing or you'll still be able to control it. So go into control and take stop all. This means that when you click the green flag and you start, you'll be able to control the mouse cap all the way to the finish line. And if you touch the finish line, then you'll be able to win the game and it'll end it. Here's an example. So that's the finish of the maze. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, leave a like. And um, if you have any questions, leave, leave them in the comment section below. You can also add a timer if you want to test with your friends who can go the fastest.